Welcome to another video from Ramblin' Geek. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 17692. Uh, before we get into the features added in this build for, for 17692, we're going to take a little look at a previous build, um, which was build 17682, uh, which introduced a new uh, wireless protector. Project, projection, easy for me to say, experience. So when I do the Windows key P, uh, the normal fly in comes up, connect to wireless display, should be able to connect to my PC, that's come up, and now it's connected, and yeah, there you go. In the PC, what I've got is a £10 wireless USB dongle, it's a little miniature thing, uh, and for what it is, uh, I have to say, the 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 performance is pretty incredible really um, so it would be nice to see uh, what this would be like on a desktop PC or another uh, device actually de designed for it. I will try this on my TV and see what that's like. Um, but all in all this you know, does what it says so you can customise this for gaming, uh, working and video playback. Uh, that can be unpinned, comes up and down and you can pin it back in. So yeah, all in all, pretty good. Uh, quite impressed with that. Um, so disconnect. So that was just a, a feature that I couldn't show you because previously I've been running uh, these builds in a virtual machine, and now it's running on a uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 4. Okay, so moving on to uh, build 17692. Um, what we do have is Microsoft bringing the SwiftKey intelligence uh, coming to Windows. Uh, this is where you can swipe on the keyboard to uh, input. So I'm going to try and give you a demonstration of that now. I'll put the service into tablet mode. And I shall launch Notepad. Click on the keyboard. There we go. And uh, if I now use my finger and hopefully spell out Windows. There we go. So it's nice to see this coming along. Uh, I'm not too sure why it's taking so long. Uh, Microsoft had this technology because I think they bought it um, from the mobile world and now they've brought it to, to Windows and the desktop, which is really good to see. Um, one thing I have noticed, um, we'll just get ourselves back into uh, desktop mode. There we go. Um, when you right click now, these menus seem nicer however when you go into this menu here um, and you right click you can see on this here uh, the menu's got the fade or um, uh, glass effect I can't remember what Microsoft recall it to uh, what Microsoft call it sorry um, so yeah I would like to see that effect um, done on this menu because I think that'll look awesome um, a little bit like you can set uh, PowerShell uh, to be transparent. Uh, I kind of like that effect. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, so moving on to uh, other things that they've added in to here. There's been a bunch of uh, edge improvements. Um, they did say in the blog post that you're going to be able to control where the media can play back. Uh, they've done a little bit of an oopsie uh, and got a little bit too excited. It's not coming until the next next build in a few weeks. Um, so what you can do now and I did mess this device up messing with this before um, so I don't want to mess with it too much um, but if you go into ease of access uh, you can now change the text um, independent of the resolution and the scaling um, which is quite good uh, it needs work because it can make a right mess if we, if we do this as you can see the layout and everything but it's good to see because uh, having recently got a 4K screen, um, it can give, it can be hard on the eyes um, reading text and whatnot. So it's, the more scaling and the more management Microsoft can can build in to try and get this right, the better I think uh, and overall. Um, there's been a bunch of narrator improvements. Uh, I must be honest, I've not really looked at the narrator improvements um, because it's a bit of an issue in the UK. Uh, getting that working. Um, there's been a bunch of uh, game bar improvements. I'll bring that up with Windows key G. Here we go. It's on its way. Uh, and away it went again. Um, so they're now showing um, if 
frame per second when the game's playing it'll tell you what the CPU is doing um, it'll tell you what the graphics processing unit is doing um, it'll draw a little graph here uh, and tell you how much RAM you've still got the take picture uh, there you go you can't use it for that uh, you can take a picture you can use your microphone you can beat you can trans uh, broadcast to mixer uh, so yeah all in all this is this is looking pretty promising I think um, these settings as far as I can tell are the same as they were previously uh, and yeah so that that's uh, somebody I know who's a big gamer doesn't actually use the um, uh, game bar if you can or box as we might we might well call it now uh, any longer uh, and or not any longer he doesn't really bother with it there's nothing in there for him which I thought was pretty intriguing um, okay um, we'll get out of that uh, so there's been some search improvements um, find software downloads faster in search apparently um, so I don't know really how to show that really um, the example they give is github which Microsoft's just put, funny enough. Um, so I'll do that. I'll just spell it right. GitHub. Apparently I can't type tonight. Okay, so yeah, GitHub. There we go. So yeah, um, it remains to be seen. We'll be seen. I'll, I'll play around with this more and get more of a feel for it. Overall, the performance of this this build seems really quick. Um, I'm quite impressed. It's a bit jiggery and pokery at the moment, but I think that's because uh, I'm running uh, the recording OBS software to to record the video, so, and it's it's got a lot of work going on. Um, not much improvements in here. I don't like the white box uh, or the white border that needs sorting out, um, and the text. You see, I've I've messed around with the scaling, and the text is gone again. Uh, this is what exactly what happened before, so that's a bit buggy. It doesn't seem to. Uh, Reset, so to speak. Um, I think reset scaling. I can't remember where I found it before, but somewhere in this lot, uh, there's a button to reset the scaling. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Yeah, ease of access. Jump into here. No, nope, can't remember where it is. Uh, but there is, I promise you, I found it before a uh, a button to reset that. That's how I got it back before. Uh, so yeah, again, Windows Mixer reality improvements. I can't test that. I haven't got a headset. Um, so all in all, a good build. Um, as again, it's, it's progress. It's steady progress. We seem to be getting a build every week, um, which is a bit more. Uh, faster than I anticipated uh, but yeah thanks for watching if you like this video please click the thumbs up uh, if you want to see more videos from me and you're interested make sure you click the bell and ideally subscribe uh, until the next time until the next video thanks a lot for watching goodbye